Hey dudes, Chris here, welcome back to No Man's Sky Origins and today let's take a look at the biggest tips and tricks that you should know if you want to make the most out of the brand new update, especially since there's a ton of brand new changes and features, many of which aren't fully explained in the patch notes. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up on it would be super appreciated and let's get to it. Before jumping in the video though, I want to give a big shout out to our today's sponsor, Frag Pro Shooter. I really enjoy Frag, it's a fun and cool game, you can easily jump into at any time on your smartphone like it is a shooter but with a twist because you don't just control a character you also have to build up your own team of five and take it up against other players own created teams and there's like a lot of different characters with unique weapons and powers to collect in this game so the possibilities are almost endless what's best is that there's a really huge player base so it's really easy to find somebody else to match make up against or even group up with especially for the 2v2 arena mode you can build a team with one of your friends or maybe with another random player and each one of you will have access to three characters they can control from a deck of six possible ones. If you follow my links down below right now you can get some really awesome free rewards including one golden chest, 500 coins and 50 diamond even if you have the game installed already. Again links in the description box down below and another huge shout out to the frag team for sponsoring this video. Let's begin with some of the brand new crafting changes that you've likely noticed or maybe even got lost into since the patch notes don't fully explain them. What you need to know about these is that many of the old crafting products have been removed completely or even replaced with brand new items in the Origins update. Even if you check some of the high-end recipes for installable tech right now, you will notice that many of these new products are now listed over there as requirements instead of the old ones. These include the brand new solar mirrors, the quantum computers, the magnetic resonators and some of the new secret drops that can be dismantled into something different and new. I'm gonna talk about that in just a little bit, but if you have an old save file that already had some of the old products, then you don't really need to do much because they have been completely replaced with the new ones by default. But if instead you are a new player or if somehow you miss some of these, here is what you will want to do. You will want to go in and discover these once again, and you do that at the same old manufacturing facility. You likely know about this, but in case you don't, you find these really easily with the planetary charts that you can purchase from the cartographer NPC on the space station and you will want to get the ones that list secure sites of interest. Search for something called manufacturing facility and just get over there, solve the puzzle and pick up this option right here that lets you pick up the recipes. So the new products listed are going to be over there, you can unlock two of these at the same time into one single manufacturing facility and this is basically all you need to know about these. This is also where you will get the newly added multi-tool expansion slots by the way. There's a couple of other in there that I'm gonna talk about but when I'm gonna talk about the multi-tool upgrading station in just a little bit. In the meantime I do want to talk about some of the new buried technologies and goodies that were also added in the Origins update. This brings us to number two so Origins also added two new goodies that you will find underground and you have to excavate them. These are the buried caches and the buried minerals. So don't confuse the buried caches with the regular cargo boxes. The icons are similar, that's true, but actually look at their names since this is gonna give them away. So buried caches can give a couple of items. These include discovery data and of course damaged units. For discovery data you can get a few nanites for just identifying them by pressing E over them, so that can go all the way up to a few hundred nanites per piece. Meanwhile the damaged units can give you some more random resources, but but usually these are the more rare and expensive type like in my case I got some really awesome platinum from it. Meanwhile for the buried minerals you can also get a number of minerals but in this case it's usually the more common ones so I wouldn't waste too much time on these. Moving on to number 3 let's talk about these brand new and cool looking extreme storms that were added in No Man's Sky Origins. Obviously they look cool but there is a gameplay component that I do want to talk about and the fact that planets now display storms from outer space as well. So when you are in a brand new system and you see a planet or a number of planets having this grey color right here, that is not a bug, in fact, that is a feature. And I mean that literally because a grey color outline on a planet now indicates that there is a severe storm happening on that very planet, which in turn is also useful because it alerts you to stay back in case you don't have enough survivability, but most important, it makes it much easier to spot extreme storms and weather effects, which 
which is also amazing if you want to farm storm crystals so this is basically the best indicator that we have right now i'm really glad that hello games added it and bonus point once the storm effect is gone the planet color is also going to go back to normal so you don't have to worry that it's going to be a permanent change also speaking of extreme storms let's go over to number four and talk about the brand new hazardous bonuses so there's going to be some different new unique bonuses that you're going to get during different types of extreme storms so for example during firestorms there's going to be a small pop-up right here on the screen indicating that now your jetpack will have improved efficiency during high temperature storms meanwhile during blizzards you're going to be able to mine for way longer as now the cold temperature won't let your multi-tool overheat in high radioactive environments you're going to be able to receive additional resources from just mining compared to regular and finally in toxic storms you're going to be able to sprint for way longer thanks to the exosuits gas processing technology let's move over to number five though and talk about multi-tool upgrade station and this is like one of the new additions in the origins update with it now any multi-tool can have its inventory and its class fully upgraded to the max this includes even your puny c class that you got at the start of the game it can be transformed into a 24 slot s class that will absolutely shred everything now the cost is a whole nother matter and i do want to talk about it since it is going to be really huge so here are a few tips first of all the cost both for the inventory expansion and upgrading its class is going to increase incrementally so it basically starts at about 110,000 units but that can quickly jump to over 50 million units for the last few pieces and this is where the next part comes into play because if you don't have enough units or if you don't want to waste them there is an even better method and that is by using the brand new added multi-tool expansion slot so these modules can be found in a couple of ways one of them i've mentioned in the beginning of the video and you can basically go at some of these manufacturing facilities and you can choose the option to get one of these over there the only drawback is that well you are only limited to one per these for each of these facilities which brings us to the second point and there's an even better method to collect these and that is of course by using those buried caches that were also added in the new update that i've also talked about at today's number two spot but basically these have a pretty decent chance to also drop some of these upgrade modules that you can quickly apply to your multi-tool to increase its inventory size meanwhile for upgrading its class the cost is going to be up to 85,000 nanites so that's going to be a full upgrade cycle from c all the way up to the max and it basically starts at 10,000 then at 25,000 to reach a class and finally 50,000 if you want to reach the maximum so that's going to cost you quite a bit which brings us to the next section on today's list and let's talk about these brand new suspicious goods that were added to the space station scrapper npc you can find these by accessing this dialogue option right here and there's two types of items that you can find these are of course the packets like the goods tech and weaponry and then we have the modules themselves so the packets can give you any type of item including even worthless ones so it's kind of like a gamble you can either get something that's really expensive or something that just makes you lose money in the process but the ones that i recommend from these are the weaponry packages since these can either give you a module which is pretty common or a very expensive item that is usually worth anywhere from a few hundred thousand units all the way up to two million plus meanwhile for the modules these are x rank which is a brand new rank added in the game what this means is that they don't really have a rank then they can have stats that can fall anywhere from c all the way up to s so you can get an x rank with some pretty bad stats on it or you can get something that's really powerful and some of them can even exceed s rank i believe i'm not like fully entirely sure but what i do know is that some of these x rank modules can be fully stacked with similar ones like the regular ones right here and still provide both the stats and the adjacency bonus one example is the pirate ph balancer that is going to provide some bonus resistances to all environmental damage but it's also going to stack with the other ones similar to it so it is definitely worth it to get these ones right here and as i've said in one of the previous videos today this is also going to involve a really awesome nanite farming method likely the best farming method for nanites right now in the game which is why i recommend going ahead and checking out my previous video that i did today this brings us to the final point on the list and that's all about finding archive buildings and these were added in the origins update so these are called colossus archives these are the new mega structures that you also saw in the new 
trailers that were added yesterday but they come in different shapes and they will also provide access to unique types of rewards and vendors to find these it's pretty simple all you need is going at a cartographer npc buying a planetary chart that reads inhabited outpost and then searching for something called colossus archive do keep in mind though that you will need some of these navigation data if you want to purchase these charts but fortunately enough you can easily find these on any space station since they tend to be all over the place and you can just collect them from all of these collectibles once you did get the charts what you're going to want to do is to perform a save file and then use them until you get a colossus archive appearing on your screen in case it doesn't appear you can simply go back at that save file and roll back at the time in which you also got them in your inventory but if you do uncover it you're gonna be able to travel to it and there's a bunch of stuff in there that's really useful one of them is the local information terminal that is going to easily point you to a point of interest like an ancient ruin and you will want to visit some of these ancient ruins since you can uncover some really awesome secret treasures that can provide some really awesome rewards and some of these rewards are the artifacts that you can in turn go back at that archive and exchange for something even more valuable and this brings us to the artifact exchange vault which can be found in several places at archive it looks basically like this and you can use this to exchange your own artifacts with something of equal or greater rarity and as such also quality and cost so basically you can go in and give some of these samples right here and in turn it's going to give you an item that may be way more expensive so it's going to be a really good and useful let's just say money farming method in case you have a bunch of these lying around what I do recommend is to save on all of these samples that you can get you can get a number of these from the ancient ruins that I've already mentioned but you can also get them randomly from NPCs when they sometimes get in contact with you and they might offer you some of these samples to you but there's also missions that you can find and you can also go into some of these planets and dig them like the ancient bones and whatnot but otherwise outside of this in the Colossus archive you can also go into the main terminal in the center and this is going to offer you an interesting piece of lore every single time and I would even argue that this is also a great place to farm for ships since this is like a massive spaceport where you will see a ton of these landing all at the same time but this is it with the biggest tips and tricks that you need to know about the new origins update of course if there's any that I missed let me know in the comment section down below in the meantime if you enjoyed this video at any point don't forget to leave a like on it subscribe and activate the notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one